everyone welcome back hope you all are doing well so as you can see today's video is a blue eyeshadow look and it is inspired by Geraldine or Monica Rimbo from WandaVision on Disney Plus if you guys have not checked out that show you definitely need to my husband and I are obsessed with it we are all caught up so we're just anxiously waiting for the next episode I love the way that they did Geraldine's makeup in episode three. I think she looked absolutely beautiful. She was wearing like a blue vest and I tried to recreate the look completely even with like the pendant necklace, but I didn't have a blue vest. So this is as good as it's going to get for us today. I even did a little digging and I found um, the makeup artist who I believe did Geraldine's makeup um, and I'm sure the other characters makeup as well um, So I'm really inspired by this blue look and this blue is really giving it to me I love the way it turned out and I love the way it looks on my skin tone I think it actually looks really pretty and I'm actually really obsessed with it and I hope you guys are too I hope you guys enjoy this video and um, if you want to see how I recreated Geraldine's look then just keep watching so I'm gonna go go ahead and get started and to start I'm going to prime my lids I'm just using the Smashbox photo finish primer I'm gonna go over top of this with um, concealer. So the reason why I'm starting with my eyes this time is because in case there is any fallout from the eyeshadows that I use, um, I can just wipe it off with some makeup remover instead of it, you know, ruining my foundation. And like I said, I'm just going to apply a little bit of concealer on my lids. I'm just gonna set that with uh, this color from the Pure Face Palette. And this will just give us like a nice base for all the other eyeshadows. I'm gonna take this palette from Juvia's Place and just on a light fluffy brush, I'm gonna use this color and just dust that all in my crease. And you really won't be able to see this color that much through the eyeshadows, but you just want this for um, the transition color, uh, just to make blending easier for everything else. So now I'm gonna take this color from the NYX Ultimate Palette, and I'm gonna lightly wash that in the crease. So on a flat shader brush, I'm going to take this color and I'm just going to apply that all on my lid. So I'm actually going to go into Juvia's Place palette and I'm going to go in with this color right here and I'm going to apply that all over my lid. And I'm just tapping that in. I'm gonna use the fluffy brush again and go in with that lighter blue and just clean up the crease and just buff everything out. And then just reapply the blue from the Juvia's Place palette. So I'm going to move on with my face and then I'll come back to the eyes. So I'm just cleaning up whatever has may have fallen on my face. I'm priming my skin with um, the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. So I'm going to color correct today. I'm going to use the NYX color corrector. I'm just going to put that around my mouth where I have some discoloration. And then I'm going to apply just a little bit under my eye. So 
So for foundation, I'm gonna use the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. And then to conceal, I'm just gonna take the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I'm gonna go ahead and set my base with some translucent setting powder. So it doesn't look like she has very much bronzer on. So I'm just gonna go in with the Black Radiance Press Powder and just very lightly apply this to my cheeks. I do really like um, all like the fashion and the makeup that's been in WandaVision so far. They probably have a lot of fun doing the makeup and the styling and the hair styling because of the different decades that is in WandaVision. So it's probably really cool to be able to be a part of that. And so far, my husband and I, we both love that show. I'm just dusting off the excess powder. Um, but yeah, we love that show so far. And the, my only thing that I don't love is how it comes out weekly. Like, I don't watch TV like that. Like, I don't watch my shows like that at all. I binge watch. <laughs> so far, there's only three episodes and we are all caught up. So I'm just like sitting here waiting for the next episode to come out on Friday. So it doesn't seem like she has a lot of highlight on. Um, it's It seems like it's more of a natural glow than a stark highlight. Um, and so for that, I'm just going to use... Uh, like a blush highlight. This is the Laura Geller highlight. It's called the Blush and Brighten. And I'm just going to use a light amount of that on my cheeks. So, as you can see, it's more of just like a glow than it is a highlight and this is actually really good if you know you're kind of like on the go or maybe you're doing your makeup um, quickly for work this is a really pretty blush and highlight it's kind of like a duo that you can use instead of having to use two separate products for that this is really nice for just like a one and done so i think i'm going to finish off my eyes and um in this picture if she has lashes on they're very natural looking lashes so for that i think i'm just going to use the ardell wispies so i'm actually going to apply like a light layer of mascara before i apply the lashes because i have like a little bit of blue on my lashes so this will help me clean up my natural lashes so that they blend in better with the falsies. Actually, before I apply lashes, I should definitely finish the lower lash line. So let me do that before applying lashes. And in the picture, it just looks like she has 
some blue on her lower lash line, but it honestly doesn't really look like much. I'm just using this color right here from the NYX palette, and I'm being very careful so that there isn't any fallout, and I'm just applying it very closely to the lower lash line. And I'm also going to go ahead and fill in my brows like I normally would. Okay, so now I can finally apply the lashes. So since I don't have any eyeliner on, I'm gonna try to get as close as possible to my lash line. So now I'm just going to apply some mascara and blend the lashes together. I'm also going to apply some mascara to my bottom lashes. So in this picture, um, her lips are kind of like a mauve nude, I would say, like a pinky mauve nude. And so for that, I'm actually going to use the NYX Lip Liner. And then over top of that, I'm just going to use the Anastasia um, lipstick in the shade Stevie. And I'm just going to kind of blot this on my lips. So I'm just going to use the um, Tarte lipstick in the shade Boardwalk and just blend this in with the other lipstick and it'll kind of just neutralize that color. So yeah, I think that pretty much completes this look. I hope you guys like it and um, if you did enjoy watching this video, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. It would help me out so much and I would really appreciate it and I will see you in my next video.